Hi, my name's Jessica and today I'm going to show you how to make a propelled boat. Something that's going to look a little bit like this. So you can see we've got a boat that's propelled using an elastic band. So for this activity, uh, you're going to need some cardboard. Just You can use any boxes you've got lying around. You're going to need a rubber band. Try and get a large one if you can. And um, just any straws you've got and some sellotape. So the next thing you need to do is decide how big your boat is going to be and what shape you want it to be. So I've drawn that very badly, draw as badly as you'd like to. And I'm just going to cut that out. And remember you want two of these. Great, so now we have our two bodies for our boat. Next thing we want to do is, as you can see in this one, you need to have a cutout in the middle. So then you should have two bodies with the window cut out for the propeller. So the propeller looks like this. You see I'm just going to separate them like that. It's two oval discs with a little cutout in the middle. It's really important with your propeller that it's going to fit inside this window here. So when you get your ovals and cut them out, put them inside this window, because this is where they're going to spin. Hold it in there and make sure there's plenty of space above and below your propeller, so it's going to hold in there nicely and have plenty of space to move around. Great, so you should now have two ovals with two slits in like that halfway across. Then what you can do is slot them together like that and you should have a propeller. So the next thing you want to do is take those straws you found from earlier and what we want to do is take your body and your straw and you want to go about halfway down where the window is here and put your straw there and you want it to be sticking off the end a little bit here. It's sticking out just below the bottom and is coming up to about halfway down. So the next thing you want to do is stick some more straw above this other straw. And you want to stick these in line with the other straw and leaving a gap. And so as you can see here, you've got a short straw, a longer straw. These two are sticking out over the edge of the bottom of the boat there. And the gap's coming about halfway across this window. And then you've got these short straws up here. Take the other part of our boat and we're going to stick that on top. So you can see I've joined at the top edges and at the bottom as well, but I've made sure to leave this side and this side clear so that we've still got that gap going all the way through. So the next thing we want to do is take our rubber band and we're going to thread it through that gap now. This can be a little bit tricky, so you might want to get a pen or something you can push through. Once you've got it threaded through on one side, you want to make sure you keep it there. So I'm just going to use a spare bit of straw to push through that so that that's not going to fall through the other side. Once you put it through on one side, you want to then push it through the gap on the other side as well. So now I've got the elastic band going through both sides. And now we're going to use the bit of straw we've got poking out at the bottom. So take your loop of elastic band here and you want to thread it through and down over that straw there. So it should be coming through like that. And then do the exact same thing on the other side. Now you might find that your boat starts to bend a little bit like this. All that means is we need to just strengthen the support in the middle here. So to do that, you can take another bit of straw and stick that along this edge here just to strengthen that. And you want to take your elastic band, separate it like that, take your propeller and just slot it through. And this is our completed propelled boat. So you've got your propeller in the middle and all we do to get that working is if you spin it round the opposite direction of the way you want it to spin in the water and keep twisting it so it's twisting that elastic band then when you let go it will spin around and when you do that inside the water it's going to push the water and it's going to cause your boat to move along. So give it a go. Uh, make it any shape, any colour, any size, as weird, wacky and wonderful as you can. Make sure when you test it, you film it, put it on social media and tag us in it so we can see, because I'd love to see all the boats you guys come up with. <laughs>